Hello and welcome to another tutorial of Current Safe Technologies tutorial series. In this tutorial I will show how to use iStorage server under Citrix Zen server. Combining two of them will expand your virtual server, allowing Windows server to expand the storage. It also allows you to directly use the storage devices of existing Windows server for Zen server with IPSAN solution provided by iStorage server you may set up operating systems, install applications and server software as well as store data required by your virtual machines. You can expand storage by Zen server by three most commonly used ways first way is use of virtual image file disk device in order to create file based virtual storage device for Citrix Zen server another is direct use of physical disk partition of Windows server that will help to make good use of available resources since no additional configurations are needed simply adding storage media as iSCSI target is enough Last one is use of CD-DVD devices or CD-DVD image files. This will allow you to add physical or virtual CD-DVD devices to your virtual machine on Citrix. First, you would need to install Citrix Zen server. To install a Zen server on a suitable machine that can support the virtual environment, please contact Citrix. Now, let us start with iStorage server. Since we need to create a target to which we will connect later. But at the very beginning, let us create a new user. So please click on the users on the left side panel. And then right click on the empty space and choose new user. Then type desired username and password but please remember that the perfect password should be between 12 to 16 characters long and it is case sensitive now switch to the groups and again right click on an empty space and choose new group because we will create a special group for that user I will name it Zen group and I will add that user to this group right now after this, we can begin creating our new iSCSI target by clicking on Create button. From this list choose Hard Disk, Image File, Standard Image File, and I will create a new image file and I will name it Windows 7 since I plan to install this operating system on this target therefore I also need to make sure it will fit on it I think 30 gigabytes is enough I will also change authorization method to CHAP and in this window you can change name of your iSCSI target I will change mine to Zen image and click finish now our target is created therefore we can continue our work in Zen center first we need to install Zen Center. I already have an installation package prepared here. I will also put a link in the description box below so everyone can download it. Let's now start with the installation process. It is pretty straightforward. You just need to press on next button no more than three times and just wait for the process to finish.
After the installation will finish, we can access Zen Center by clicking on Start button and choosing Citrix Zen Center. Upon the first time run, we need to add new server. Therefore, please click on the Add New Server button located on the top menu bar and type all credentials required to log in to your Citrix Zen server that you installed earlier and click on Add button. Now we are successfully connected to our Citrix Zen Center. We can access all information about it. But now we need to add new storage. <coughs> and this storage will be our iSCSI target that we just created in iStorage Server. We can do it by clicking on New Storage button located on the top menu bar, choosing Software iSCSI, and here. We can specify the name of our new storage. So please enter the IP address of iStorage server and click on the Discover EQNs button. From the list, choose the iSCSI target you just created and click on the Discover Slans button. Now, if you use CHAP user authorization, please provide CHAP credentials here. And please remember that the password is case sensitive. And click on the finish button to finish creating that new storage. When the Zen Center will ask you if you wish to format the disk, of course click on the S. Now we need to wait for the formatting process to finish. After the process will finish, we can access our storage. When we finally have our storage ready, we can install virtual machine on it. Click on the new virtual machine button on top menu. Choose the virtual machine you wish to install from the list. As you can see, you have plenty to choose from. I will choose Windows 7 64 bit. Here, type the name of your machine and any description if needed. Choose from where you wish to install the operating system. I will choose a physical DVD drive that is inside my Zen server. Here, Choose the number of virtual CPUs you wish to assign to VM as well as amount of RAM. 
and next window choose your iSCSI virtual disk storage that you created a second ago using iStorage server leave networking by default settings and on last window after you will review that all information is correct we can leave this option market that will make VM automatically boot after we finish this wizard. As we can see, a new virtual machine appeared on the top and we can now access the console from it by clicking on the name of it and switching to the console tab. Windows is installing normally. Therefore just proceed with the installation of the operating system. During the installation, you will be able to notice that it appears that iSCSI target is a normal local drive for the Windows installer. Therefore, Windows won't be able to notice any difference. You can perform uh, any operations on it and use it just like a normal local drive. So please continue with your installation. After the installation of system will finish, we can access the disk management and check again if it really appears that disk on which we installed operating system really appears to be local, even when it is an iSCSI target. As we can see, Windows recognizes it as a local disk, even though it is iSCSI target created by iStorage server. That is one of many benefits of iSCSI technology. Thank you for your attention. That is all I have prepared for today. And talk to you soon.